hey there this is Ni Amuda and welcome to my YouTube channel so today we are going to be replicating a design I someone sent it to me and it was like asking how can this be achieved um, on pixel lab so I decided that I'm going to replicate it so you learn the process of achieving something like this with pixel lab okay all right so without further ado let's begin but then you need to subscribe to my youtube channel and you need to like this video and then you can hit the um, notification bell so that you get notified when i post tutorial video all right so let's get into the tutorial now so first off now this is what you're going to do now if you look at this design there is this circle the one that looks the white one and then there is other there's other two circles inside behind the, the the man of god okay and also there's a chip so how do we do this with pixel lab the one of the, the ways you can do it is this now get a a shape now this is a shape right all right let the shape be from from e to yeah so what i mean is that it should Feed all the space like this all right now now pick the color of this shape let the color be the color that all the color yeah or you can even use black so I want to use even I want to use um black there's a reason so that when I want to pick my color it's going to be easy for me on black that is number one then number two you are going to get um, you're gonna get the circle all right you're gonna get the circle so go to shape and get the circle all right so this time is gonna be circle but remember that the circle should be not yeah you should plan the circle in such a way that um, it is not going to disturb your space but you are all that you're going to write at the bottom this area here so so how do you do that so you can use the previous image or the previous design to to um, major what you are doing so that you so you can just do something like this all right now then do something like this and then bring only the circle to the front this guy exactly so you use it to measure it so it's gonna be some somewhere like that like this uh -huh. right so after you've done that you can remove the image now now then you centralize the circle Make sure it's at the center now once this is done what you're going to do next is to mesh both this this circle and this um, square together so go to layer and then click on this button and select the boats then mesh them together correct now you've meshed them together so they become one okay they become one so what are you going to do now you're going to go over to um what's it called eraser sorry did i say eraser it's not eraser go over to erase color and you're going to choose white you can see that it's already gone so the white is already gone so if the white is gone now uh, you can see the white is gone out so since the white is gone out the shape inside become this circle is gone out now so non normally i would have click on this this guy and pick the white but it's already automatically gone out so no need so i can go back again and change this shape now that is here look at it now i will change it now to the color right the color of that particular image so i click on plus i'll choose the color picker okay my guy is this uh, is, is let me get it all right so so I'm going to choose the color from this image. So this is the color, okay? Right. So I've picked the color. You can see now that this is the color. So this this shape is showing um, is showing anything at the back. All right. So let me remove this guy so that you know exactly what I'm talking about. So let me remove this guy. You can see now that it's showing the black because this this black is the default. Um, background color so you can see if I change it now to any color you, you, you see what I'm talking about now so but now in the image the design we're replicating the color at the base at the back of it is the base color is white 
good now we can I position this guy position it so that it sits properly and then we use this to align it now we then lock it now this shape has been locked All right are you seeing it now so this is the first thing we're going to do now any other thing we're going to be doing can come at the back of this design so this is it this is what i'm try trying to talk about now now i want to bring other shapes other shapes other shapes now the first one i'm going to bring is a circle one circle all right and i'm going to bring in this picture so that we can know you know exactly what i'm doing so this is it so what i'm going to do i'm going to bring this one like this right then go to the color first the color is going to be yellow right this guy here but let's pick it exactly the way it's in the the image we're working on right so this is it. this is the color the art line the art line which is the stroke here in pizza lab we're going to increase it and then it's going to be this all right we are done with that are you getting it so this is it all right this is this is just exactly what that uh, person did so if i if i remove my own now uh, one two you can see how it is but then there's another image okay so there's another shape there's another shape click on it click on the shape and then go over to circle and then let the color be oh sorry back let the color be this this guy now it's gonna be like this and be sure to centralize your uh, shapes so we are done already so the next thing I want to do now is to take I want to take this guy away now this is our own design this is our own replicate now you can see that it's exactly the same thing so how do we get the image so that it comes as as if it's coming from behind inside the circle so let me just get the image i'm going to be using so this is the image i want to use for just for practice all right so this is it now this image oh you're going to send it to the back of the design so what i'm going to do it so this image first let's send it to the back back okay then these other images we're going to send them to the back okay this guy going to send to the back perfect see this is exactly what we wanted to do and we've done it so then this we're going to increase let us increase it a little all right so we can even okay let's, let's just continue we can even work on you so that that aside so this is it so what we're, we're almost done so let's get the logo I already got the logo so I'm just going to pick it from here and I will send it to the front right so this is it right so then the other the others is um, I think I already got it here no not here the other information uh, yeah, so let just let us finish up. Join Pastor Dulcy for okay. Let's go. Let's go we'll get it. Okay, so let's just edit it. Join Pastor. 
don't sin, no, and if you don't sin, for so this is it. So let's go and use. I'll be using um a vertical for this design. So. the name of the person so all right so first that 21 days fasting and prayer is the next so we can we can easily even copy these and just edit it so let's just edit it first something bolder so let's go back to front and then we use um, a bolder a vertical funnel let's think this guy is okay so of course the curve is going to be okay more than the way it was before so we can go over to relative position and make it center so this is just exactly what we um, sell and we're doing so because of the team so, so I just want a simple team for this okay let me say the team is a okay, grace right uh, it's just for practice I know way so um let's get a font to use no 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 right so the color is gonna be white all right so white is the best for this okay so i will want it to be so to do that, I think there's something that's causing that to have to use padding to remove it. No, not that one. Alright, so. Simply use this. Okay, then. Let the pastors, let the grace, okay. Let the grace go behind the best so come over here and pick grace and push it um, behind the best. Right. Right, so we can just go there and then put the word team. So, just exactly 
what we want you to do and the next thing is i think is going to be okay the time i think so the date and the time so it's gonna be you know this is for practice okay it's not as if it's a real program actually yes. so it's gonna be oh, let's say 10th to um 30th um january to 20 22 so we're going to put the demarcation here and just write the time okay so that's that all right so let's get a decent font still a vertical family actually so i want let me pick it from the recent exactly what i want so it's going to be white gonna be white but we're gonna change part of it to another color yellow so let's say from year to year it's gonna be white from year to year it's gonna be white all right then from the date it's gonna be um, yellow so let's add this demarcation to it Okay, let's add this demarcation to it. Alright, so that. Alright, so this is exactly it. So we just centralize it and then we are good to go. Alright, the next thing is going to be the venue. Okay, the next thing is going to be the venue, and I will just quickly copy it from. My notepad, yeah, yeah. I will copy from my notepad right here. Okay, I'll copy it from my notepad right here. Alright, so this is this is it. So let's just quickly go back and complete our work. So copy and then we we'll just paste and edit. Actually, what I wanted to show you is the, the, the trick to putting the shapes in place. That's what I really wanted to achieve in this tutorial. But I just wanted to finish it. Alright, so the next, let us centralize it first. Let's make it center alignment then. Um, okay, so the whole of it's going to be white. Okay, then for the for the font, the address is going to be a bit lighter. So. We use something like uh, let's say this no let's go right there alright so alright so So this is just something that we want to do. So we can add other effects to it um, to beautify it, like um, lines and other things. So that's why. But that's by the way, sure. So this is just exactly what I wanted to achieve, and I'll be able to achieve it. And I believe you got some learning from this tutorial video. So I want you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much.